According to the Director of Campus Life, last year Newport's police arrested and cited over 100 people after and during the St. Patty's Day break held here in downtown Newport. Saver Regina students' spring break is scheduled over the parade. However, many return to join in the festivities. Though with families on the bench, many locals have their concerns about the parade. Um, yeah, I think it's out of control. There's a lot of damage done to property, um, businesses and private property. I work in a restaurant in town. I manage a restaurant, and after last year, we considered not even opening this year because of all the damage. Um, and we drop the behavior from people that weren't even visiting our restaurant from the outside. Mm -hmm. As far as the drunks, you know, and the exposure to the little kids with the drunks is a big concern. Watching them uh, kind of get all reckless and wild and crazy. All in all, minus a few concerns, Salve students and locals are proud to host St. Patrick's Day Parade, one of the finest parades in the United States. I'm really excited. I'm actually turning 21 the day before, so this will be my first time in Newport for the parade. And I heard it's nuts, but I'm excited. I went last year. Um, it was a lot of fun, but it gets a little crazy. I know that uh, people sometimes get in trouble for like noise violations, so I don't know, hopefully I won't be a part of that. But <laughs> Signing off, this is Riley Fredericks with Mosaic News. Hope you have a happy St. Patrick's Day. Stay safe. Have fun.